Okay. So question number 23. So that is right. Which Feynman diagram describes the annihilation of an electron in there and it's antiparticle? So what does it tell you? Oh my god, where is it? Again, I missed my pen. Right. Okay. Now, so it describes about annihilation of an electron and it's antiparticle. You should have an electron and an antiparticle. Let us take up this one here. If I consider this as an electron, this is my time stamp over here. Okay, if this is my electron, see, the motion of an electron or direction of an electron is shown by this arrow in the same sense as that of the time. This is in the opposite direction, which means that this could be an antiparticle. An antiparticle for this one could be E plus over here. So this is relevant and this could be the right answer. If I take up this one, let us look at the other, all the other possibilities. Here you see, this is my electron. If this is my electron, it's along the same sense. And here you have to get an opposite direction, but it's in the same direction. And if this was an antiparticle, this could not be an antiparticle, it cannot be represented like this. So as a result of it, both of them could be real particle only. Okay. So therefore, this diagram is incorrect. Now here, if you see here, this is an electron, this is positron, which means what? Positron is giving out energy to form an electron. So we did not ask that, we only asked about electron and antiparticle join together or collide together to give rise to energy. So this is the right one, this is also incorrect. And let us look at this one here. So what is showing over here? So you have an antiparticle, you have another antiparticle because it's going against time. So this is also an incorrect one, okay? It's the addition of a photon because that was not the question. The question was only when do these two particles annihilate or join together to give rise to energy? That's the option A is the correct one. 